C2, June 2010, question 10, last question on the paper. One of my favourite circle questions is. Uh, we've got a circle, centre to one, uh, pass to the point 10, 7, 2, 1, 10, 7. So the circle looks like this. We just need the radius because we've got the centre. Uh, the radius is going to be uh, 8 squared plus 6 squared square rooted. So I can write R squared is 8 squared plus 6 squared. Difference in the x's, difference in the y's. Uh, and that gives me 100. So the radius will be 10. The, uh, the equation of the circle looks like this. x minus the x value at the centre, y minus the y value at the centre, and equals the radius squared. Then it says the line L1 is tangent to C at the point B. Uh, so L1 looks like this. It's so L2 is parallel to L1 and passes through the midpoint. Let's go to the midpoint here. I've just drawn the part inside the circle. L2, it says intersect C at the points P and Q. And we've got to find the length of PQ, giving the answer its simplest third form. This is one way of doing it. Uh, the midpoint of uh, the radius uh, is 6, 4, 12 over 2, 8 over 2. Uh, the gradient of the radius uh, is uh, 3 over 4 because we've already worked out the difference in the y's and the difference in the x's, 6 over 8, 3 over 4. So the gradient of the um, of L1 and L2 is minus 4 over 3, negative reciprocal. We can use the equation of the line, y minus 4, minus 4 over 3, x minus 6. So we can simplify that, um, minus 4 over 3 times minus 6 is 8, add the 4 gives you plus 12. Uh, then we're going to use this with the equation of the circle. So if uh, y is equal to this, y minus 1 is going to be minus 4 thirds x plus 11. And if I square both of these out, I get this unholy mess. Um, and then uh, simplifying it, uh, I've got x squared and 60 over 25 over 9 x squared minus 12 over 3 x here. Uh, take the 100 over. I'll have 125, take away 125. So multiply by 9, I get this. And then divide it by 25, I get this quadratic. And this is going to give me the two x values of P and Q. Uh, complete the square on it because we want it simply third form. The calculate will do, of course, these days. Uh, but uh, the x minus 6 squared is 27, take it over. So the x then is going to be square root of this, plus or minus the square root of 27. 3 root 3 plus that 6. The uh, the y, I need to put that back into here. Uh, minus 4 thirds of this plus that 12. And uh, my, actually gives me minus 8. And then minus or plus 4 root 3 and plus the 12. Or 4 minus or plus 4 root 3. And the, um, the plus or minus and the minus plus tells you which goes what. So, so the q. That's sort of the bigger one. That's that's where the x value, the bigger x value. So that's the x six plus three root three with the y values four minus four root three, and the uh, and the other way around for the uh, for the p. And then uh, looking at the line, uh, I can uh, find the length of pq by doing the difference in the x's and the difference in the y's. In Pythagoras with it, difference in the x's. We've both got a six, but one's plus three root three, other's minus three root three. So that's 6 root 3, and the y is 8 root 3. And it's a bit like a 3, 4, 5 triangle, or an 8, 6, 10 triangle. So that's just 10 root 3. You can do that on the calculator if you want. Um, and there we go, 10 root 3. Right, that's one way of doing it. The better way, uh, here's PQ. Uh, if I draw AB as well, uh, and join up A to Q, the length of that line is 10. That's the radius of the circle. Uh, AB is also a radius, and uh, that was the midpoint. So they're both five. Uh, now the uh, the L one is a is a tangent, so that's a that's a right angle there, which means this is a right angle because these two lines were parallel. So there's a right angle there. So we can use Pythagoras on uh, on this triangle, and that's half of PQ. So half of PQ squared is going to be the ten squared minus the five squared, uh, which is seventy five. So our PQ is square root 75, which is 5 root 3. So PQ is 10 root 3.